Mary Murphy and welcome to Women's Wisdom Wednesday. I'm the senior editor for Realty Times and the founder of the Women's Wisdom Network. And today we're going to talk about the difference between gratitude and appreciation, especially when it comes to women. You know, it's really interesting that women uh, tend to have a little bit more of a different experience with it because we are more collaborative by nature. And we do that with our kids and with society. And not to say that men aren't, it just is a question. It's really important to notice, though, that there's a difference between gratitude and appreciation. And what I've learned is it can be a different effect on a woman's well-being and her se sense of agency. When you recognize someone, you know, saying thankful is a feeling, an emotion that says, oh, I've noticed you. Thank you very much. We say thank you to a server. We say thank you to someone who opens a door. But gratitude comes from a different place. It's uh, reinforced by um, not having to ask for more. You're grateful for the moment. You're grateful for the seat uh, in a crowded room. You're grateful for uh, a port and storm. The most important thing you need to know is that most people quit their jobs because they don't feel like they're appreciated. As a matter of fact, there's some really good uh, research that I've done. And it's 29% uh, of employees haven't received recognition for good work they've done in a year. How hard is it to say thank you? How hard is it to bring in some something fun, lunch or something to let people know that they are seen, value and heard? You're going to hear me say that a lot on Women's Wisdom Network. 80% of employees would work harder if they felt better about being appreciated. Strong employee recognition programs get this reduced turnover rates by 31%. Uh, and employees who are recognized are almost six times more likely to stick with their job. I just have to say to you, Turnover is rugged. Uh, lots of people are moving. I heard that 67% of, 61% uh, of people are going to find a new job in 2023. That's a big percentage. That turnover costs money, time, training, uh, onboarding. It's enormous. Uh, there's lots of tools that we have at Women's Wisdom Network, including WiseHire, to help you make really good decisions. 92% of employees, by the way, would be very happy if they got recognition. But why would you want to leave your current job? You're not happy. You don't feel appreciated. You don't seem being a seen. You don't feel like you're seen, value, and heard. In many cases, women will be discouraged from being too passionate or amb ambitious in their jobs because they don't want to be criticized. Here's the thing: be passionate about the great things. Be passionate about the process to make your business work well. That's what we do at Smart Women, Smarter Choices. Be passionate about recognizing people no matter who they are, the door person, the person at the checkout counter, make their day. It doesn't cost you a thing to say something nice about someone. And it changes their whole physiology for the rest of the day. But more importantly, the people that are with you, whether it's a spouse, people you love, your kids, your dog, everybody wants to be seen, value, and heard. How are you doing that? You know, one of the things that uh, we have at what our coaching program is a MVP program where you literally reach out intentionally every month and touch someone to keep the, the nurturing of the relationship going, not to get something, not transactionally, but relationally. Show appreciation. Yes. Show gratitude goes deeper. Tell me how you share your gratitude and your appreciation. What do you do in your business? Especially if you're a woman, go to womenswisdomnetwork.com forward slash link tree. You can email me. You can check out some of the programs that we have to offer. Here's the thing. We have a Facebook community, Women's Wisdom Network Facebook community. We want to share ideas with other women. Our, our idea is to support women in business, women in real estate, uh, in the men's room with Merck. Here's, here's what we want to do for this year. We've got still a good part of the year ahead of us. Take something like appreciation, gratitude, recognition, and put it into your strategy for the month. How are you going to express it? What are you going to do differently to make the people around you feel seen, value, and heard? I'm Terry Murphy. Join me again next Wednesday. Join me on the Women's Wisdom Network Facebook page. Share what you do so we can help other people feel seen, value, and heard. Thanks so much for joining me.